Hi, this is Jen, and today I'm bringing you a rock and shave whip for women. This is going to be rich in olive, coconut, grapeseed, castor, and jojoba oil, along with shea, cocoa, and mango butter. First, I'm going to begin by spraying the containers that I'm going to be putting the whip in when it's finished, making sure to get the containers and the lids completely saturated, but enough to evaporate before I put the whip into the containers. Now here I have my oils that I have heated almost to liquid, still leaving some density within the butters. And I'm going to just bring that to room temperature. And I'm gonna allow those to melt and distribute evenly. You don't wanna get your oils too hot here. It's just not good for the oils. I like to keep the integrity of the oil so I don't want to overheat them at all. I'm going to move this over into the next container where I'm going to be adding some other ingredients that I'll share with you. I'm going to scrape. Now to this I'm going to add some colloidal oatmeal. This is going to give great slip and conditioning to the skin. Put that all in and then I'm going to just mix it gently and that's going to disperse that oatmeal very nicely. Next I've got my essential oils, lavender, lemongrass, lemon, jasmine, and chamomile. This is going to provide a very good fragrance, also health benefits to the skin. It's very soothing and uplifting, tonifying as well. Now I'm adding my colorant. I think I'll make this a very beautiful pale, pale salmon with a wonderful luster with a little bit of cream mica. Okay, I'm just gonna scrape down the sides and now I'm gonna start whipping it with my electric whip blender. And this is the whip attachment which is gonna help to aerate and lift this product. I'm going to do a partial whip right now, starting low and then progressing to high to get everything incorporated. Then I'm going to take and put it inside a glass container and set that in the refrigerator. And that's going to help to solidify the oils before I do the final whipping. Just mixing this in. And I'm going to now put this into a glass container and then in the flash of a second, you'll see me beginning to whip it in its final stage. I won't bore you with that, so we'll do it very quickly for sake of time. So here we are, I've got it out. I'm doing the final whipping. It's more than doubled in volume. Very light, fluffy, airy. It's just beautiful. It's exactly the way I wanted it. scrape down the sides and ultimately I'm going to put this into a piping bag and pipe it into the containers as it'll give it a much better look. See how thick and rich it doesn't even fall off the spoon. That is just going to hold up on the leg when you're in the shower shaving in your bathtub. It's not going to run off. So here's my piping bag. I'm going to put the tip on it, just a beautiful tip, and then I'm going to proceed to fill up the bag and then I'm going to pipe it in circle, circle motion and that'll help it to sit down nicely with the least amount of air bubbles and then I will tap it down. Oh, it's just like a beautiful buttercream icing, I'll tell you. And it is gonna give a definite sweet finish to the skin. It'll be ready tomorrow and available for sale. It would be a beautiful stocking stuffer or a gift for a mother, a grandmother, a sister, an aunt, a friend, a daughter. I'll tell you, a gift like this will really show them that you love them. See how beautiful that looks. 
I'm going to continue filling up the rest of the jars. Trying to get the air bubbles out. And then I will tap these down as well. And then I'll get the labels on them be posted on the website this evening. I'm going to scrape down the sides of this container because this last little bit is not going to be enough to fill up a jar for sale, but it will be enough for me and my daughters. Nothing like sampling your own product. Why not pamper yourself as much as pampering others? You gotta take care of your skin too because you're the testimony. You're the walking billboard for your products. You've gotta know how they feel and how they work to be able to give testimony. So how wonderful. I am so excited to make this product and I'm so excited to get it into your hands. I just know that you are going to be so happy with the results. Okay. This is the final, final remnants here. I'm wearing a mask because I'm very sensitive to smell. And I've got some beautiful essential oils in here. But because I tend to have even reactions to the most beautiful smelling essential oils, I would just rather not. So I put all them in there for you lovelies out there. Now I'll use these, but you know, initially when you first uh, blend your products, they're a lot stronger and I never know how strong they're going to be at the time I'm making them. So I need to be able to get through the process without any issues. So I just tend to uh, put a mask on. And then that way I don't have to worry about if I'm going to have a sensitivity while I'm working. I have a special allergy that makes me extra sensitive above and beyond the normal person out there. So I wear my mask so that you guys can still be blessed. Otherwise, these, this would be a lot weaker in smell if I was making it for myself because I have a very heightened sense of smell. What smells normal to some people smell 10 times stronger to me. And I don't have a lot of essential oils in here. I have the five that I mentioned and I have five to 10 drops of each essential oil. And I've made four containers, so that is just the perfect right amount. So I'm getting this last little bit into the jar for me and my daughters, and then we will be finished. I'm so glad that you guys are able to join me today and see how wonderfully easy it is to make your own decadent, lavish, and luscious body care. Why buy it at the store? It's full of all kinds of very cheap ingredients when you can make it at home and know that a lot of love and a lot of care and top shelf quality ingredients are inside. Just does a body good. Doesn't get any better than that. So there you go, folks. That is it. Please give this video a thumbs up, like and share and feel free to comment and visit my website. God bless and make it a great day.